Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today I am here on the Red Cross Flight bus once again, away from home to Easington Cor Coralie in the FA Vars. It's just an internal comp competition there in the league below us. I believe they're doing very well by the looks. I don't know where they are in the league, but I know they have. They're in good form. But obviously, when our last game we for Ashington, which is good form for us. And hopefully, we'll get another win today. Um, and I'll see you when we're at the ground. Okay, guys, we are here now at the ground. It's a slight little sun behind me, not too bad. Tonight looks like a nice stadium. It's alright, uh, nothing too big, nothing like Ashington. Too bad. Um, yeah, I've actually seen the court. Like, the fans of the, they seem like lovely people here to end up. So just nice. Um, it looks like the forecast is going to be very sunny. We're going to be weather for all. So that will be interesting. That will begin. Come on, lads. And we're off. Right, it's 1 0 now to Easington. It was a. We've been attacking a lot. I've just got to go for a couple of and have scored. Uh, hopefully, we can get bring it back to 1 0. It's about half an hour in right now, so. We've got 15 minutes left of the first half, but there will be a couple of minutes at the end because of the head injury. But uh, we'll see, hopefully, we can bring it back. It's half time now, 1 1. Uh, I mean, 1 0, sorry. Um, so Go on, get them over the second half. We could have gone 2 0 behind as well, which is a bit of clean chance and goal, but they redded it wide and it was. Uh, not good, not good at all. Oh, by the way, the media team aren't here today. Don't know for whatever reason. So all the information from today is from me. I've not been able to and I've got any goals. So it seems I've not got a goal. The goal didn't get the first goal. Got some footage as you'll have already seen. But um, trying to get some good goal footage, capture a goal. But uh, hopefully we can do that in the second half. Two nil now. Another goal. It's yeah. We had a great chance at the beginning of the second half, but then just uh, take it and go down that shot. And everyone's done scored, and now it's 2 0 just a little bit after the second half started. So I've still got time to get two goals back, score two more. It's funny to me, we've been we're without some of our, our best player, Isaac Walker, we're without, we're without him. And we're without our defender, Jonathan Kraku, as well. It's like, ah, uh, the chances of us beginning this pack without. Isaac Walker is very low, but you never know. Right, it's two. It's two one now. We've been able to pull one back. There's still about five minutes left to play. Hopefully, we can get this level. This would be some hell, one hell of a comeback. I'm stu studying the stands now with a few of other Red Cross Lake fans. Um, hoping, well, look, hoping that we can get this back. Let's see. Well, it's all time, it's 2-1, everything was setting off there, there's a, bunch, there's a big scrap and all right at the end, there's loads of um, temperatures when it went, tempers went high and all, and there's a lot of swearing, there's been a few players, so our players have fallen out with one of theirs and they've been, it's gone really bad, but it's all finished over an hour, and uh, we'll get an interview just now, so I'll see you in that. Right guys, I'm joined here by Red Cup Lake striker Nick Martin. Um, thank you very much Nick for joining me. No problem at all. So unfortunately uh, it was a very disappointing result. Uh, the Black, obviously the Lions was not the best. I had a couple of um, absentees. Yeah. Do you think it affected us? Yeah, definitely. I think when the lads come here and they see that there are a few faces missing, I think it, it gets a little bit annoying. I think you, you expect your lads to be here every week, but you, once you get out on the pitch, you still, you still shouldn't worry too much about that. You know, it's, at the end of the day, you, you need to get into the game and really take the opposition, and we just didn't do that. Did 
and then obviously with us getting a goal back later on, it uh, uh, certainly gave some belief in the fans. Did you believe that you could pull it back? I think I always felt there was a chance for us if we got a goal. Unfortunately, it probably came a little bit late for us, but we always had the quality to open up. It just it didn't it didn't seem to fall for us today, and we were unlucky. And what do you think that the team can take from this defeat? I think it's a bounce back mentality. I think you've got to go now and go, you know, that wasn't good enough. Now our next game, we've got to bounce back and really show what we're all about. Yeah, and I'm sure we will. So thank you very much for joining me. No problem at all. Thank you. Thanks.